Hi, I am Brother Ismail, a former Christian who embraced Islam by the grace of Almighty God, Allah, the Most High. Welcome back. This is part three in my video series titled 110% Proof Jesus is Not God, and we are dealing with the theological nightmare of Mark chapter 13, verse 32. And that verse goes as follows, quote, Jesus said, But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, meaning Jesus, but only the Father, meaning God. This is a quote from the New International Version of the Bible. So my contention here as a Muslim regarding Mark 13, 32, is that this verse proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is not God because he didn't know the time of his second coming, but God knows all things. And what we did in the second video of this series was refute the second Christian explanation to this theological problem in Mark chapter 13, verse 32, which was basically that Jesus uh, vol he chose to voluntarily limit the use of his divine attribute of knowledge or omniscience. Here in part three of the series, we will, we will deal with the third Christian explanation of this verse. And that goes as follows. Mark, ch chapter, uh, Mark chapter 13, verse 32, is an issue of divine authority, not divine knowledge. In other words, the Christians are basically, basically saying here that Jesus doesn't possess the uh, authority to fix the hour of his second coming, but in fact he did have full knowledge of that event and when it would happen. So the Christians basically remind us that only the Father fixes or determines the hour of Jesus' second coming. They say that this is an issue of authority, not an issue of knowledge, and that Jesus did not have the knowledge, uh, the authority rather, to fix the hour and time of his return. In other words, the Christians are trying to have us believe that it's not a matter of Jesus being ignorant, but it's a matter of him not possessing some kind of authority that the Father God alone possesses. So here's my refutation to this Christian explanation. I say this is false because the text of Mark chapter 13 verse 32 is primarily talking about knowledge and perhaps yes about authority also but only secondarily. The disciples asked Jesus specifically about the knowledge of when his second coming would happen not about Jesus's authority. Jesus was asked about the knowledge of the time and he addresses the specific issue of knowledge in his reply. Besides, this Christian explanation contradicts a verse of the Bible in which Jesus is alleged to have stated that all power had been given to him on earth by God. In order to show that the incarnate Jesus had, in fact, all power and authority while he was living on earth, the Christians quote to us uh, John chapter 13, verse 3, which says, quote, Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, end quote. And the Christians quote us John chapter 16, verse 15, which has Jesus say, quote, all things that, uh, sorry, all things that belong to the Father are mine, or all that belongs to the Father is mine, end quote. Even more boldly, Mark chapter 28, verse 18, has Jesus allegedly stating, quote, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, end quote. This is uh, from the New International Version of the Bible. So I hope you see the contradiction here. Christians are saying that in Mark chapter 13, verse 32, Jesus had the divine knowledge, but did not have all of the divine authority to release or fix that knowledge. Yet these verses from Math Matthew's and John's Gospel say that Jesus did have all divine authority. So which is it? Did Jesus have full divine authority or not? Anyway, this is another issue which is t taking us slightly off topic from the original uh, topic. This statement of Jesus is very clear in Mark chapter 13 verse 32. He did not say, for example, no one has the authority to fix or to reveal the hour but the Father. Instead, he stated that no one knows the hour but the Father. 
This means that Jesus was specifically highlighting the fact that he lacked divine knowledge. And he was not really highlighting his lack of divine authority, although, of course, he did not have divine authority, as is proven from this verse as well. In fact, if the Christian wants to continue pursuing this argument further, they will still run into a great wall of refuta refutation because not only does a lack of divine knowledge prove Jesus is not God, but also a lack of divine authority proves he is not God. For the Christian, there is simply no way out of this mess of false doctrines as they are surrounded by refutations from all sides. Furthermore, this Christian explanation is blasphemous because it implies that Jesus, as a true prophet of God, lied. If they claim that Jesus was in fact not ignorant of the time of his second coming, in other words, if the Christian claims that Jesus actually knew the time of his second coming, but was only teaching the people that he did not have authority to release this information to them, then the Christian is implying that Jesus is a liar. Why? Because... The implication is that Jesus did not know the time, yet he actually did know the time, but was only forbidden from releasing that information. In other words, the claim is that he had knowledge, but not the authority. The Christian who uses this argument has put words into the mouth of Jesus, words that he actually did not say. Jesus did not say that, uh, sorry, Jesus said he did not know and that is different from saying that he is not allowed to release that information. Another blasphemy arises here. This, this Christian explanation implies that the Father and Jesus had two different sets of knowledge, but that is a whole different falsehood which deals with the pagan doctrine of the Trinity, which I will not go into right now because I want to stay on topic. Christians, are you telling me that the divine knowledge of Jesus did not know when he would return? How can the divine knowledge not know something? Do you agree that Jesus lacked divine knowledge or had no divine knowledge at all, at least on the subject of the return of Jesus? Did the Father keep this knowledge away from Jesus' alleged divine nature? Explain why the Father would restrict this knowledge from Jesus. I can understand why the Father would not want people to know this information, but I don't see why Jesus should not know if he is not God. Is Jesus fully God? Isn't Jesus the one and the same God as the Father? Are you telling me that they have two separate amounts or kinds of divine knowledge so that one knows something and the other does not know something? Does this make any sense to you? Of course not. Remember, being ignorant and knowledgeable are two different attributes and they are opposites. And God is never ignorant. One cannot be knowledgeable of a subject and ignorant of, ignorant of it at the same time. If Jesus and the Father had two different kinds of divine knowledge, then they must have had two different attributes of divine knowledge, which means they are two different beings and two different essences. In other words, Jesus cannot be God. So it seems to me that there is no end to these kind of crazy questions that you can ask because this false Christian doctrine is pure confusion and pure nonsense. And I think I've said enough here to prove my point that the third Christian explanation in this video series dealing with Mark chapter 13 verse 32 is thus false and refuted. I praise and glorify God Almighty Allah for giving me this opportunity to share the truth with you and to refute all forms of false doctrines. Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. See you in part four of this series.